Lieutenant Governor Diane Dennish and Congressman Martin Heinrich were at the president's side throughout his visit, and that was no coincidence. Sharing the spotlight in South Valley this morning, some of New Mexico's top Democrats, Lieutenant Governor Diane Dennish and Congressman Martin Heinrich, hoping for a bump in their upcoming races by being seen with the president. But given recent polling numbers, it's a calculated risk. Today's Rasmussen reports presidential tracking poll shows 41 percent of the nation's voters strongly disapprove of the way he's performing as president. 29 percent strongly approve. Those coattails obviously aren't as long and as powerful as they were, you know, a couple of years ago, given the approval ratings, all these different polls showing that Obama is not as quite as popular as he used to be. Who knows if the president's appearance will affect the Democrats' pick for governor, considering he mispronounced her name. Everybody knows your governor, Bill Richardson, and we are grateful to him. Uh, your lieutenant governor, Diane Denise, who uh, is... I believe going to be also the next governor of the great state of New Mexico. But an hour later, in what felt like a campaign stop at Barilla Coffee House, the president was working hard, pushing Dennis for governor. Everybody's working hard for Diana. I hope. And I think any time you have an opportunity to be seen with the president of the United States, you're going to take advantage of that. And considering President Obama carried Bernalillo County by 21 points in 2008, politicos say Dennis and Heinrich's appearance makes sense. But will it give them the boost they need? There's not a lot of enthusiasm within their base, you know, traditional Democrats. And so I think part of the positive impact could be just generating more enthusiasm, getting more people interested and excited about the upcoming race. Now, absent from today's visit, 2nd District Congressman Harry Teague, a Democrat who's in a tight race for re-election against Steve Pierce, the Republican who used to be the congressman in that part of the state. Back to you. All right, Jim, Teague's office says only that he spent the day working in Washington.